The 2019 growth, according to the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, was mainly driven by improved performance in the processed and semi-processed sector, particularly cocoa products, palm oil products, and iron and steel products. Non-traditional export continues to contribute only about 18% of the national export, which is mainly of natural raw materials. National exports grew by 8.53% over 2018 compared to slower rates of non-traditional exports for the same period. The Ghana Export Promotion Authority believes the successes being chalked presents huge opportunities that need to be exploited to deepen Ghana's export diversification agenda. At GEPA, we believe that access to reliable data on international trade flows is vital. We know that we need that data to make informed decisions as a nation, and you, won't, uh, and you won't find many better at collecting and interpreting data than at get. Board Chairman of the Ghana Export Promotion Authority believes the country's export drive can only improve if Ghanaians patronize local products and services. As a country, we need to practice the multiplier effect a little bit more. What do I mean? Just like the Jews, just like the Lebanese, just like the Indians like to buy from each other. We in Ghana don't. We prefer to buy from imports. We don't support one of our own. So when we spend a CD here, the city doesn't stay in the society. The city, if, I give, if the city goes to a foreigner, we goes out of the country, continue to cause problems with our deficit, export deficit. So we should support what we make here, we should eat what we grow here, and we should make sure that for every dollar city that we spend, it stays within our community about 10 times by buying from one another. I think to me that's the missing link that if we are, the export is trying to help us improve export, then we have to consume what we make first and then we can send the excess out. A Deputy Trade and Industry Minister, Robert Ahumkalinsi, says government will support the Ghana Export Promotion Authority and the private sector to make the country's products attractive for exports. We now have in President Akufuado's government a government that has made it very clear, crystal clear. The role of his government is to provide the environment, the environment for business to flourish not to step on the toes or in the way of business. When we say the private sector is the engine of growth, this government lives it, talks it, and acts it. When we talk about key activities like one district, one factory, its very essence and design is to address all those points that I mentioned earlier. And as we move forward, into 2021, the role of GEPA in harnessing and ensuring that we are front and center on the continental free trade area and making Ghana the most Ghanaian made product, the most attractive product on this continent and further becomes key. GEPA needs to make sure that it has the right people, the right strategies, and the right finances to make that happen. And we as government will support GEPA 100%, and in so doing, support the private sector. Some business owners want government to support local businesses to be able to meet the standard of exports. I think it would be better if we have our policy, the right policies that they've, they've launched you know, in place also to export some of our quality meat outside. But then the fact still remains that we need to get support, as my brother Brokutu said, support from the government, support from our banks, support from the financial institutions. In as much as we believe that marketing of products is so important, what we were expecting is that, uh, especially with the benchmark values at the post, 
what we were expecting is that the government will actually concentrate on goods which are not produced in Ghana to reduce the benchmark values at the port, like spare parts. We don't produce spare parts here for, vehi for vehicles. So if the be benchmark on those goods are reduced, it's, it will be to the benefit of everybody. The report also reveals that 10 top products contributed about $1.66 billion, that is 50% of revenue from exports. These products include cocoa butter, cashew nuts, cocoa cake, cocoa paste, and articles of plastic. The others are canned tuna, palm oil, iron and steel products, cocoa powder, and aluminum products. For City Business News, half is the journey reporting. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.